plan is to ride this snowmobile 15 kilometers into the wilderness. Apparently there are some good spots for uh, ski mountaineering. Oliko sit asteet oikeesti miinus viis? Ei kai niitä asteet nyt oikeesti miinus viis oo. Here we go! I am speed. to have uh, 10 meter per second winds but I mean there's literally no wind which is really good really good just look at the landscape it really is just wilderness there's like literally no trees at all some bushes there but that's it So the plan is to hike up there. Oh, very good. It's better than Pretty nice. First run. Like we're hiking into a cloud or something. Pure white. So these are called skins. And you put these on before you start climbing. These just stick low. So you can climb up and then you need to take them off when you start skiing. But I'm no pro at this, so. is that the visibility is, is pretty bad and I, I really can't see anything I have uh, like really dark lenses so it's really hard to see I mean take a look at this right you can't see anything The weather is getting so bad that I think that's it for today.
day two. I'm, I'm really tired. Didn't get much sleep last night. Today the plan is to uh, hike two different mountains. The weather isn't perfect, but the sun should come out later and the snowfall should stop. So let's hope for the best. Also, let me show you around the camper. So this place is a mess at the moment. I would never need a wider lens. Well, this is all our skiing gear here. Uh, there's one bed. Uh, another bed here. You can pull this down, and then you've got a bed right there. Right here, we have the gourmet center, which is just filled with trash at the moment. We have a toilet here, which we aren't really using. Uh, uh, I don't know what that is, and. Uh, well, yeah, that's about it, about the camper. How can this be so our avalanche beacons which we have like right here on our chest and you know an, an avalanche beacon is just something that uh, it sends out a sing signal and if an avalanche erupts we can actually find the person who gets stuck under the avalanche Different kind of a hike today through the forest. So we just pulled this out of there. This just means that the snow is packed. And then there's some uh, softer snow beneath. So there's a high risk of uh, avalanche around here. So we can't really ski down from here. We need to go somewhere else. Ei saakeli. Ei voi jalka. Ja tää on vaan pieni venytys. Totta kai. So, me and Samuli, we're gonna try and hike this thing up straight, straight up. And then everyone else is gonna do a zigzag, which is usually what you do if if the uh, hill is really, or the slope is really steep. But, uh, it, is, it might be a bit faster to go straight up, but it's a lot more taxing, so... <laughs> we are way ahead. Yep. I mean, yeah, this is a lot tougher, but we are way ahead of those guys. I can't put an agus. Mulla is telling it takes me a while. Come on! Hey, 
got it, I'm f***ing it, yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> so this might be our final hike. And the aim is to get on top of that thing right there. It's 2.3 kilometers that way, and then one run down. Also, it's already almost 6 p.m., and we still need to drive to our next spot after this. So we're in a bit of a rush, and we're gonna we're gonna hike in a straight line up the mountain. It's gonna be a bit tough again. <laughs> I mean, there's no words to describe that. Ihan käsittämätön. Come on. Come on.